Hey everybody, I'm Ryan McCaffrey with IGN, and I am joined by the man who helped create the game you're seeing right here. This is Carmageddon, the original Carmageddon, and I'm joined by Neil Barnden, better known in the community as Nobby. Good to have you here. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, now, I know you're trying pleasure. to drive and talk at the same time, <laughs> which is not always the easiest thing to do. Uh, no, not, not on um, in Carmageddon or real life, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's true. That's the... Uh, I don't know about about the UK, but over here, yeah. many states have banned Doing a great job. talking while driving on the phone. But uh, talking <laughs> on the phone while driving. Oh uh, yeah, God yes, it's but completely banned for us. Now, why you may ask, dear listener, are we playing Carmageddon, a game from 1997? That's am it. I remembering correctly? Yes. Yes, that's correct. So, uh, we're going to get into this in a second, but you guys have a brand new Carmageddon coming out after a long. Uh, probably painful legal battle to get the rights to the game back. I mean, you created this and, you know, what, over 17 years ago. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we Stainless Games, uh, we celebrated our 20th anniversary last year. And, um, yeah, we uh, we didn't have a we had, didn't have a painful legal battle. Uh, it's just that it was the nature of things back in the day that the, the publisher that uh, you were signed with to do to do a game uh, they own the rights, yeah. So, um, so you know, they, uh, that was that was just how it was. Um, however, uh, after we'd done two of the games uh, for them, Can't Get One and Two, and also a splat pack add-on for the original game, <laughs> um, we uh, we we wanted a, a a break from it. They said, "Yeah, fine, okay, take a break." And then they got somebody else to do the third game in the series. That's uh, not cool. Well, it, <laughs> it also didn't go well. It didn't go well. That's the unfortunate thing. It kind of killed off the brand um, at the time, and so yeah, we you know we were upset, but we were also naive, you know, in, in thinking that they'd just wait until we felt like doing another right. one. You know, they had a what for them was a massive <laughs> brand now, uh, so they had to get another one made. Unfortunately, so it, it was 1997, yep. and you guys uh, were a young studio. The 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 scene on the in the games world as far as car games went was racing games that weren't you know you could you couldn't hit a person that wasn't a thing that you could do no, the, no, no, the, that's they right. would either if there were pedestrians at all you'd either phase through them or they would jump out of the way you you, you just yep. it was not a it, socially it just seemed like it wasn't a thing that was even ex- possibly it, acceptable no exactly i mean it, <laughs> it really was something that uh, was well, it was quite frowned on, uh, it, and at the time, um, because you know we are talking, getting on for 20 years ago, it was quite controversial, uh, to the extent that the original version of the game in the UK was actually banned from release until we re- replaced the pedestrians with zombies, zombies with <laughs> green, <laughs> yeah, blood. green, green-blooded zombies, which was then deemed accept- acceptable. So, where? Uh, uh, so, take me through. How do you come to a place where you decide we're going to make a game that's entirely a, a car game that's entirely about running people over? Well, the inspiration for it was uh, the license that SCI uh, were looking at at the time. We'd we'd gone to them with with an idea for a destruction derby game. Mm-hmm. Um, they were at the time attempting to get the license to um, a comic series based on Death Race 2000, um, the 70s. Uh, David Carradine, uh, Sly Stallone movie, right. which in which you got points for for killing pedestrians. It was uh, yeah, it was a sort of a piece of social commentary <laughs> of the day, and uh, and they were going to get this uh, this license, um, and also uh, for a time when that fell through, they were going to get the Mad Max license, um, both of which obviously afforded the opportunity for you know the the um, the running over of pedestrians. Um, when those licenses fell through, we they said to us, "Well, we haven't got those licenses. Can you come up with a name? We, you know, we, we still want to do the same kind of theme, right? Uh, because we we were down the road of working on it. Um, so I came up with Carmageddon, and uh, the rest is history. Well, there's a lot of history. I mean, this is a game you mentioned <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, we'd never seen a game where it was about it's hitting uh, the pedestrians, getting points for it. Yeah. Uh, of course, the you get points. You're rewarded for taking out your your uh, car opponents. Uh, it's not it's not necessarily about winning the race. It's about being the last no, the, one standing. The, that's right. The and uh, the the emphasis of the game was very much anti racing. Um, I could have done with changing Ugh. the graphic settings a bit here because we've noticed <laughs> quite a lot of pop ups. So uh, but anyway, uh, 
if I if I had gone into the setting star with, we wouldn't be getting this awful awful uh, pop up of all the rears of all the scenery in the distance. Uh, yeah, so we it was it was uh, you know always meant to be the antithesis to racing games. Basically, uh, you could win you could win an event by driving around and around the level, going through the checkpoints that you've seen me pass through. Um, but really, that was a pretty dull uh, way to to do things. The AI were never going to win an event doing that, um, right. and so in the end, it was really the case that you could uh, you could do that if you were boring, or you could kill all the pedestrians on the level, which would take quite a long time. These <laughs> these little guys, there's usually oh. a, about 900 or more of them in a level, <laughs> um, and uh, of course the the final and preferred route um, to winning is to wreck all your opponents, and um, woof. So you know, we we spent uh, because, as I say, we were we were originally planning a destruction derby game. So a lot of the emphasis of the game was on the uh, impacts of cars with each other mm-hmm. and the the crushing of the cars. Um, it was a game where really it was a a, a pioneer in the area of, of 3D physics in games, uh, and the the crushing of the cars in real time and dynamically was it was groundbreaking. It really was. So, you know, although by today's standards, it looks very, very rudimentary. Oh, nice. you Nicely wasted done. them. Yes. Um, now, do you remember, because, uh, of course, as you mentioned earlier, there was a huge controversy at the time. Uh, mm. Europe flipped out. <laughs> and do you yep. remember the most, what's the most memorable review or thing written about this game from from back in the late 90s that sticks in your mind? Well, we had everything from Carmageddon is violent, vis- visceral, vehicular mayhem uh, from the, the, the sort of p- the positive side yeah. to um, a brilliant uh, newspaper front page headline which was Ban Death Game Now, Pope. Uh, <laughs> what was great about that was because uh, it, it says Pope, you assume it's the Pope. It was right, actually, of course. Pointy hat, bulletproof car. Yes, uh, and Actually, it was a, a, a UK MP, Greg Pope, uh, <laughs> who had called for the game to be banned. But we've always thanked him for giving us such a fantastic headline. Uh, so yeah, you know, those those are the kind of memorable responses it got. Uh, but the, it was also bizarre going to the British Board of Film Censors offices in London uh, after we'd the the game SCI had uh, had voluntarily given the game to them to give an 18 certificate, and they they'd refused it huh. and so we went to a meeting with them uh, where the head of the BBFC said um, as as one of their staff sat playing it <laughs> laughing um, as as he was running over the you see this this is awful you know you really can't you, you really mustn't enjoy this sort of thing it's um, <laughs> it, it's it's not the kind of thing that we can encourage people to enjoy uh, and the, the guy on their staff there this young guy was just uh, yeah was having a great laugh because if I remember right back that was at a point the ESRB hadn't existed yet that was sort of the more voluntary sort of a less formal less organized version of a ratings board right that's it that sort of thing came later yeah this was the yeah this was the the board that dealt with the censorship of of movies of films at the time Um, and to whom you could actually you know submit your game Um, but they, they were they didn't know what was going on in the world of video games. You know, they're, they're all these old, old fogies. And, um, yeah, so uh, as it was, they they made us change the pedestrians to zombies. Uh, and then, uh, basically, SCI appealed against that decision, and it went to the high court. Wow. And uh, where the decision six months later was was overturned. So we were able huh. to launch the game all over again uh, in the way in which, in the you know, the form in which it was intended originally. Yeah. Now, it's, it's interesting to take a look at this now. I mean, first of all, I should note, uh, we've decided that we're crazy people and wanted to show you exactly the original game. So we're, we're DOS box emulating. We're doing a whole thing yeah. here. It's worth noting, you can get the original Carmageddon now on... Uh, how, which Anything besides iOS or just are we just on uh, iOS? No, and Android and on iOS. On Android as yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, so... And it, it actually plays reasonably well with the with the touch controls. Oh, oh. I, I'm a keyboard or gamepad guy myself, but yeah. it's it's there, and it, you know it's just an easy download. Works great on uh, well, on your iPad or or it, Android. We're device. really happy. Yeah, we were really 
quite proud of the conversion actually. We, we fixed a lot of things that weren't right in the original game. Uh, for instance, there were pedestrians who it was discovered were floating like way over in the, uh, in the ether <laughs> who, had been, who had been kind of put, plopped down in other levels and had remained uh, in a level that you were currently in and couldn't be got to. So you could never actually finish the, uh, the level by, uh, by well, killing then. all the pedestrians. So we fi- <laughs> we, things like that we fixed um, and uh, we, we just we spent an awful lot of time um, improving the balance of the game. And it, yeah, all in all, it was um, oh, here we go. a great experience. This is, of course, the pedestrian electro bastard ray <laughs> which obviously makes a, a welcome return in the new game uh, and this level that we're on now uh, which is um, the the level being called City A I'll just repair myself there because I'm getting rather damaged oh somebody's pushing me into the wall Oof. ouch um, this this level makes a, a comeback at Carmageddon Reincarnation uh, it's one of the ones that we've done a, a lovely updated version of uh, and the Ped Electro Bastard Ray pickup, uh, which I grabbed there, is in exactly the same position in the stadium that's in the new game as well. Now, I, I think for me, one reason why this game resonated is you guys managed to find and nail the right tone for this. I mean, if it were a dead serious game about running people over, it would just not, nobody would want to um, play it. It would be kind of just gross, quite frankly. Well, but, yes. <laughs> but here, we, you know, you've you fleshed out. You know, for a game that uh, was originally supposed to be the Death Race or Mad Max, we've got uh, our hero uh, Max Damage up there, uh, our, our cockpit cam there in the upper left corner. Yeah, the Pratt and, cam. And all these sort of, uh, you know, various dick jokes and other things <laughs> going on. There's clearly a... <laughs> Lots of the, that, the tone yeah. of this game was pretty important, wasn't it? It really was. We never, we never set out with the intention to produce a game that was just intended to shock people or cause controversy. Uh, we wanted to make a game that made us laugh. And uh, that was the, the the absolute you know bottom line when we were when we were developing testing the game uh, was that it had to make us laugh, and uh, and that it you know that's what it did. Um, I mean we spent so much time all standing around somebody's desk watching uh, as they went into action replay and uh, showed us something that had happened just now in the game. Now for me, uh, I played the original Carmageddon, but. Really, for me, Carmageddon 2 is the one I remember most fondly, which uh-huh. we're also going to play. Keep an eye out for that video on IGN, or uh, possibly by the time you hear this, it's it's already up. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. You, you sort of refined and added on to a lot of uh, the foundation there, but, but it's interesting. I mean, there's so many interesting mechanics here. You notice, first of all, it's it's uh, more or less an open world in the sense that yeah. you know, you're not on a closed track. You can go do whatever mm-hmm. you want. There are these power-ups scattered about. Uh, you earn points and credits, which you can then use to repair your car, and the uh, the fact that you get more time for uh, taking out enemies, which yeah. I'm sure that, that seems like a small thing, but that that actually is a huge gameplay decision because yeah. it means you can just keep playing and keep having fun rather than oh, I just need to smash as much stuff as I can before the timer runs out. Yep, absolutely, um, and. <laughs> Yeah, so that you know that was that was all part of the balancing of the game. That was it was great, great fun, and uh, and as I say, then we we also had this um, full action replay system, which would re- rewind all the action pretty much back to the start, depending on what sort of buffer you had in your PC at the time. Now I remember in Carmageddon Two, but cor- tell me about uh, with Carmageddon One. In, in Two, you could actually export those replays as QuickTime movie yeah. files. Yeah, that's right. Could yeah. you do that in one as well? No. So that no, was a new we, feature for two. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we hadn't quite reached that level of sophistication <laughs> in the first one, but we, we realized the, the value of um, people being able to post their their little videos, you know, up online. I wish I still had those. <laughs> yeah, well, this is it. And, I mean, it did, sp- you know, it spawned a big fan community for the game as well. Right. Um, which uh, which has, uh, has basically lasted right the way, you know, through until... We announced a new game. You know, it was amazing how many people were still they were still modding Carmageddon one and two, um, and uh, you know, s- still keeping the thing alive after all those years, which is fantastic. I'll take one last look at the death ray as you start to zap everyone. And, uh, so, Carmageddon Reincarnation is the new game. You guys kickstarted it. You were yeah. a very very successful Kickstarter, v- well exceeded your goal. That's right. Uh, the game is now 
done. It is out on, uh, well, possibly now by the time you hear this, but it is May 20 what? 21st. 21st. May yeah. 21st is the release of the game. That is on Steam. Yep, Steam PC. Steam uh, for win for PC. And yep. uh, if uh, I, I can, I'm a backer, so I'm looking forward to getting <laughs> getting my copy. I, had, uh, I forget what level I backed at. Something reasonable. Nothing. I'm not an investor or anything. <laughs> I'm still an impartial observer. It's just well, as if I pre-ordered the game. We appreciate everybody who contributed <laughs> towards it. It really was uh, a fantastic thing to be involved in, and uh, to see the response. You know, so from uh, well getting a, over 17,000 backers in the end. And uh, yeah, as I say, we, we exceeded our goal by a, by a large amount. Uh, asking for 400,000, getting getting on for 700,000, I think, in the nice. end, including um, PayPal contributions as well. Well, I'm yeah, happy. Yeah, so it's great. I'm happy to have Carmageddon back with Reincarnation. This here is the, the original Carmageddon, uh, which again, you can get the... <laughs> <laughs> nice, polished, much easier to get running version uh, on iOS or Android. Yeah. So take a look at that on those respective the uh, Google, Google Store and Apple Store. And Nobby, thank you so much. Let's go play some Carmageddon yes. 2 and then some Reincarnation, shall we? Yeah, great. For more on all things Carmageddon, you're already in the right place right here at IGN. <laughs>